teacher, a real teacher. Different. It, it, you thread it almost the same way. It's like a letter N back to front. So here we have it. It goes behind here on most machines, and this is one tension that helps the stitches. Right? It goes down here, down to the bottom here. This isn't very easy to explain. Up, around, and down. So you actually have like a letter N. You need to probably look in your books to check you've got it correct. If you have problems with your stitching, it's usually because it's incorrectly threaded up. Okay? Now, I haven't got the glasses on, so I'm not going to see. Have extra. Do you not, not sure that I can see to thread the needle. Do you need extra glass? I have one. I have got some, so I'm not. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Oh my god. 
Oh, I can't see anything with all of this. Oh my god, it's a bottom glass. <laughs> Let me just... One minute, one minute. You might like to pause your videos for two seconds. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now this is, it's all threaded up nicely and there is a, a little slit in the foot here that you put the thread so it goes to the back of the machine. If your threads are always set at the back of the machine like this, then you won't get them all messed up and in a tangle, okay? The other thing most machines have is a little cutter. So you don't need scissors close by. There's the cutter here, uh -huh. because this is an old one, and we can just go like that, and it cuts the thread, okay? On this machine, it's this, I think. All right, okay. Oh. We'll have one somewhere. All right, so this is always a machine. Oh. So relatively, so it's 10 years, but it, it was only used for one season, I think, when during the uh, Fidaka. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So um, we're just going to do straight stitch. I think that's all you need to know okay. to begin yeah. with. Mm -hmm. And then another time we'll do somewhere that says how long you want your stitches. And we don't want them too small because if you make a mistake, it's really difficult to undo it. So we go somewhere in the middle. Two should be all right. Mm -hmm. Not too long because then it pulls yeah. and it will yeah, open yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the, the main things to remember is that um, the foot lever is here and obviously you start it upright to put in your fabric. Please note I've got little samples here. <laughs> I have cut one last night because I was doing something for the, the trunk and I have this, a leftover one. Oh. This, was a, this is an old shirt I had actually, a nice denim shirt. Um, so... You get different size needles. So if you're doing a really heavy fabric, you need a bigger size needle. Like it's about number 16. Or 16. 14 or 16, yeah. yeah. 14, Usually it's a 12 or a for normal uh, For normal um, if you're, thickness. If, yeah, oops. if you're doing something with stretch, you have to use what's called a ball point needle. It's a special needle so that it doesn't cause the um, a, a yes. run to go yeah. up. Yeah. Okay, but we're just doing the basic yeah. things today. I don't have those. We don't so much. Exactly. Yeah, I only saw. All right. So we've got our double fabric. We can use our foot as a seam guide. Okay. So if we keep our fabric right next to this, it will give us a good size seam. So we put our fabric in and we put our foot down. Now with my little old machine, God bless it, um, <laughs> it, it hasn't got a button that puts the needle up and down. I should think most of these machines do have a button you press and the needle automatically goes down. Okay? But in this case what we have to do is use the knob at the end, we bring it every, always towards us, bring it down towards you and with the needle in you can start. Always start with the needle down, and if you stop halfway, just make sure your needle's down, okay? And then most machines also have a speed on them. They can go faster or slower. And for the life of me, I can't remember where this one is. Maybe it's on the bottom. No. Anyway, don't go mad is what I want to say. Just go slowly. Yeah. All right, so basically you just press on, Switch it on first, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And press it and it goes. Okay, it's simple as that. Now, there's feet under there that push the fabric through. So you don't have to push it through. So that one there. You can let it go naturally. But you do that's have to uh, gently hold it here and guide it maybe with this. Okay, but you're not actually pushing it through. Yes. Okay. Remember, if I stop, just to remember if I haven't finished the seam, to put my uh, needle down. Mm -hmm. But as I say, on the more modern machines, when you press the button down, it always stays down until you press it to go back up again. Okay? Any questions so far? No. You're a very good... Okay. Just check that it looks the same on the top as it does in the bottom. All right, the, the stitches have to. Okay, I think you like should that. explain because sometimes the bottom.
part mm. of the yes, uh, material. Part. Some there are um, loops, yes, yes, be loose yes, or something, yes. and then you have to uh, play around with what's called the tension. Yes. But hopefully we won't need that today. And doubling this, wiggling that, wobbling that. All right. Okay. So, so we so. Um, I should have started with a back stitch. Anyway, so to the end of your seam, remember we're keeping our fabric nice and straight. Next straight. To the foot. Yes. Yeah. And when you get to the end, stop, put your needle down, and all machines have got some form of reverse. reverse. Yeah. And just go a few stitches back, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you can lift up your needle, and as I say, always pull stuff to the back, mm -hmm. yeah. okay? Take your thread, cut your thread, and there's your seam. Mm. Okay. So it's very that. Yeah. Um, I didn't say when you begin a seam as well, you should um, again put my needle, put my needle down. I'm always turning the wheel this way. I should do a couple of stitches, mm. keep the machine, the needle in, then go back again before we start again. We don't want our clothes falling apart. Yeah. Parang yung end. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Because this is only like today. Yeah, you can pass on this uh, training, whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. So any question, please. Okay, Mahia. Hillary is a very good teacher, as I said. You know, she will answer very clearly. I'm not questions. Not anyway, even myself. Let me all start with. The other thing, because I noticed Esther had, she's got lavender, mm -hmm. and uh, also on the little advertisement there were some hearts. Yeah. So if you want to do something like yeah. this, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm lucky. Um, we don't cut the fabric into a heart first of all. It's easier to either draw or place a paper template mm -hmm. on this, okay? Mm -hmm. And remember we've got to leave a little space to turn it through, okay? Mm -hmm. And also remember you put the right sides of the fabric together. Yeah. There's lots of things for you to remember if you haven't done this before. But, um, so, my needle is here and I'm going to follow around the template. Yeah. So remember if I start with my needle down, I do a couple of stitches and then, because I don't want it to fall apart, go backwards. And then, I make it look easy because I've done it lots of times. The first two, three times you do it, it is difficult. But you are in control. You can lift your foot off at any time, okay? Yes. So you can do that. <clears throat> I've got to the point of the heart, I have to leave my needle down, because if I don't, there'll be jumps in the stitches. Lift up the foot, turn it around, bring my foot back down again. And then start again. This fits nice and easy.